episode 67, live from the Clay, Paul, and Edmonton households. The yep. greatest golf podcast of all time is back for episode 67, presented by our friends at Moon Golf. These are some incredible people, and I'm, I'm going to let Brady tell you just how incredible they are. Every time you go into a Moon Golf store, you will not be disappointed because of how incredibly nice and knowledgeable and just the all-around experience is incredible when you walk into a moon golf store because they have everything golf related uh, from the apparel to the clubs to the fitting bays everything you need they have it under one roof and that's honestly why we trust them and go there so often they have everything we like from the srixon golf balls to the callaway golf balls um what else what else did we like <laughs> well, I love, my favorite thing about them is when i took my putter in there i handed them my putter i showed them what grip i wanted i walked around the store looked at stuff about 15 minutes later they came found me and said here's your putter's done every time i've taken a club to dicks to get regripped they've had to say come back the next day or a couple of days yep yep <clears throat> so that's why i love moon golf Zach, why do you love moon golf? I went the other day, and I was talking to uh, Jonah, and he, I see. he, I mean, and I hadn't been in there. I went in, the last time I went in there was to get my putter regrip, my new one. The first thing he asked me was, how's that new putter coming? Dang, he remembered it? Yeah, and just small stuff like that. It's like, well, they, <clears throat> I mean, I know we're not the biggest streamers, but just to remember that personal interaction. Yep. How's that putter going? It's still sounding weird to you or anything like that. Just a personal touch. So uh, we love Moon Golf. We think you will too. Go check them out. When you get to the checkout counter, use code BSG15. It won't get you anything, but it looks really good for us that you're trying to use it. <laughs> yeah, they know <laughs> who sent you. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Moon Golf. They're actually sending us next weekend uh, to Aiken, South Is it Aiken? Aiken, South Carolina. Aiken. Uh, to, to play in the Brian Bros Invitational. So that whole video, two videos, whatever is going to come out of it, will be brought to you by our friends at Moon Golf. Shout out, Ann and Dan, Moon, incredible people. I'm going to go by there one more time before we he- head up that get? way. Just to, yeah, and we'll see if they got any polos. Just, just to yeah, I gotta see. Grab me one. I'll grab uh, one. I got mine, one. and I got the gloves, three for 25. I gotta Tell me that, where you can beat that. You can't. Not one bit. I got a, I got a, I got a polo. One of y'all can wear, maybe you. a little big. Four X. And that thing, it's Are a two, two X. Yeah, that's our swing. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd uh, be like the go. swing shirt. <laughs> yeah. No, I need to go get Southern gloves. I've been playing like my past four rounds without gloves, and it's miserable. So I need to go. Get oh, some. I hate that. Uh, so, so I'm gonna. And not. Them. No gloves. Not just any gloves here. either. Like these are, like. I mean, I don't foot know how to filling. compare it. Yeah, they feel like foot joys. Like they're off. They got to be from the same like production line, but they just have the Moon Golf logo on them. I was gonna say, Foot Joy runs the golf glove. When I think of golf gloves, I think Foot Joy. Would you compare this or to Callaway? Callaway is my other favorite. That Apex with like the flag on it. Oh yeah. I feel American when I swing it. Let's talk. This this isn't any, <laughs> this is just off the top of my dome. When you think golf, what golf brand runs golf in your head? Like, I'm, what do you think of when Callaway like, now? I was about to say, I feel like a lot of people either think Callaway say. or TaylorMade. I think I'm <laughs> on the TaylorMade side. Yeah. Titleist doesn't really have to, they don't really have to get out there and put their name out there because it's been out there forever. So people just know Titleist. But TaylorMade and Callaway is who you'll see on uh, most of the commercials and all the all the big names playing them now. You still have those Titleist guys, but Taylor made like how much of that like Foot Joy and they're promoting it. Foot Joy, yeah. Just that's, wears that uh, I mean, that's Titleist. But how much of the yeah, Callaway Taylor made is from seeing yeah. it all the time from the content users too? Because you oh, know yeah. Titleist has yeah. been like the peak forever. Yeah, and they're between the club, and it's always been the ball. And what's interesting is like you said ties with the peak but they're the brand that's least involved in influencers now other than no lane up but they're the least involved 
and they're slowly yeah. becoming the brand that's the least talked about. It's yep. interesting how much power social media and influencer content creators have in the golf game and brand and like just while I go Callaway on their used to if you were scrolling through TikTok or Instagram you saw a Callaway post it would only be about professional golfers or something but it was Joey Colcuts at first I thought it was Joey Colcuts posting it and tagging Callaway but it was on Callaway's main page and I said there's been a shift in the golf world now where they they've got more uh, they're getting more out of it by posting content creators than they are actually posting actual signed tour golfers. Which is when I started thinking about if you were going to buy irons or wedges tomorrow, are you thinking Titleist or are you like yeah. TaylorMade or Callaway? Yeah, I feel like Titleist has that prestige. Like maybe not on social media, but like whenever you walk into like a, a, a pro shop or like a country club or something like that. Everybody is like, you know, Titleist. They're they're all Titleist no matter what. Like whenever you see somebody like that, you know what it reminds me of? (laughs) PGA Tour Superstore. Oh, that's what I think. That's what I associate with it. It's that old white man, yeah, nose in the air vibe. I mean, Uh, you're not wrong. You're not. That's what I think. Interesting now that like when I think when I think Callaway, my mind goes to Good Good and Bob does sports before I think of like John Rom, John Rom, other people like that, which is yeah. wild that that's happening. But luckily for us, that's where we live in because that's what we're trying to get on that level. So yeah. I'm glad it shifted that way. I wish Srixon would pick up somebody. Hey, well, they need it. somebody. There's they three guys sitting it. right here. I wish they yeah, would. One, I guess Mitch got kidnapped <laughs> out of his truck. <laughs> that man just left it rolling he, in here. He's got a uh, he's got Shrixons already in his bag, but I wouldn't hesitate to throw them in there. Hey, I know the they listeners. look good. Uh, yeah, for all the audio listeners only, if you can go back forty seconds and you can listen to the sound of him getting out of his truck, and you can tell us what kind of truck Mitch drives, uh, <laughs> you win a koozie. Oh, that. Uh, oh, we do. Ha- we now we do have a contest starting this week. Oh, well, I'll say that. We'll get to that in a minute. We'll get to that in a minute. Brady, does those, your truck uh, make those that door same chimes noise? are very. Yeah, I was about to say those door chimes. They are very, very uh, nostalgic in, in those type of trucks. But look, I did uh, right when I got my truck. I hate I hate those bells and whistles and stuff like that. The ding and all of that nonsense. But I got the. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but I got all that stuff where it doesn't make any noises. Oh, you took it off. Yeah. Oh. You have to disable it, like removing a fuse, or no, no, no. It's just like a little um, adapter you buy and you plug it into mm-hmm. your computer in your truck, and you can go in there and change all the settings. Mitchell, we've got the audio listeners. What you what you force scan? What you yeah, force scan, scan, my boy? The sound them of them door the, chimes. Yeah, door chimes. yeah I turn. I was telling them I turn those door chimes in the down, middle of a stream. Uh, <laughs> oh, so, you'll be all right. let me jump into a. Uh, uh, so this past weekend, we played a little match. Brady and Zach's brother, Jeremy, versus me and AJ. Uh, filmed it. It'll be on the channel in a couple weeks. <clears throat> I just want to point something out that was funny to me. After the video was over, we were done filming. Uh, the last three holes we played, just straight up everybody. 1v1v1v1. One 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 one. Um, we get to 18, and I, I bogey 18. I think Brady's even going into 18. Right, Brady? Yeah, I part of 16, 17. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I bogey. I was like one over going at 18. And then I yeah. bogeyed 18, made a double. I mean, I was two over to end it. Brady gets <laughs> up there with a par putt, and I was excited. Jeremy's already pretty much won. And I, I didn't know what Brady was putting, but I said, I may not come in third. I made T2. And Brady looks at me with his look and says, this is my par putt, Casey. Pretty much meaning that he was not going to tie me. <laughs> the dude proceeds to miss his par putt way, way past the hole, misses Blue the bogey by. putt, back by, and then makes a double for us to go T2. And I just loved it because he looked at me and said, this is my par putt, Casey. <laughs> Did have to remind you. If not, I would have been in third if it wasn't my par putt. So. That's true. But that was some fast putts you sent on that last hole right there. Then too. I, yeah, it was all or nothing at that point. I was I trying to tie old. Jeremy. Hole 15 was the first hole. Uh, hole 16 was the first hole we started on. AJ was still 
170 out. He said, just put me down for eight. And then he hits it again. He says, eight. He said, eight may not be the right one. We may need to write down more than that. Dang. I told I told to AJ after the round. I said you might you got to go see one of our guys, Scott or Maddox. I said, so I will. I got a so I got another lesson with Scott tomorrow. I'm just trying to become all around better. I feel like my game's piecing together, put more low scores together. That if I just put 18 together, I'm there. Do you wish you would have had time to do these lessons a little more in advance before, so you're not tweaking right before about to. Go on our trip. I'm ready. I got one so? more book before before Tobacco Road. Dang, so you're pretty confident about the whole trip pulling it off. The oh, I'm bringing a belt home. <laughs> <laughs> the I feel it. Belt. No, the, uh, the polo from the And it's not one store. I'm taking with me. <laughs> yeah. I just I just don't. I think, I, I don't know. I feel like we all play so close together. Like, at most, if I beat Zach, I'm going to beat him by maybe two or three strokes and over four holes does that does not tally up to the amount of strokes he's going into this with i'm feeling good i mean and with the stroke difference i have room in there for a bad day which may happen at tobacco road as long as it's not a that, disaster uh, day i'm glad jeremy's playing a lot of solo rounds lately and shooting pretty good scores <laughs> that's what i told that. brady i said i need a couple more Hey, he he asked me, or I asked him if he wanted if he was playing anywhere this weekend, and he said he wasn't. He said he was going to take this weekend off, and I was like, "Oh, he's in, it's has got in his head now. He can't be scoring these low rounds, he getting knows. handicap down. Yeah, it's coming in strokes. He may have got himself in a pickle. <laughs> Let oh. me go back to uh, that round. Those at point. What did Casey give me some insight on what you thought about the course? Like they sent out that email yesterday about. Uh, reviews like what they, they stuff to change around the course yeah so i don't know how many courses do this but the superintendent uh yesterday sent out an email and posted on social media and i wanted feedback which is a great thing if, if anybody's trying to get better you need feedback so i'm glad they did ask for this um about the course my thoughts on the course were one i was very impressed how the storm we got the night before how dry it was the next day for us like, and it's always at, drained well. Yes, we went to courses. We've been at courses before where it's rained way less than that, and you're just sloshing around the whole time. It's miserable. So I was impressed there. Yeah. I'll um, never forget the first round at Stillwaters this year. Oh, God. That was cool. <laughs> it was soggy all day. I do hate. I feel like they got a little lazy. I don't know if they're trying to do this or if they're just lazy. But hole four, hole 11, um, hole three. The Some of the getting, brush. Hole six. Yeah, the brush. Yeah. And it's not just brush anymore. There's like pine trees growing up that are about <laughs> to get rooted in the ground if they don't hurt and pull them out. And you can't even see your ball land. Like, uh, you, this is an issue for everybody, but we're trying to film. Uh, and I was like, there's no point even zooming in because I can't see the green. Yeah, on hole six and almost on three now, there there's spots where you almost can't even like shoot. Uh, the green with your rangefinder, like, because there's just yeah. too much uh, debris and and brush in the way. And what's wild to me is that hole hole six, uh, hole eleven, minus the road to the left of it, can be really pretty holes, kind of holes you want to show off. So I don't get why you're not like. A lot of people talk about hole three at point, but I think one of the most scenic par threes out there is hole six because you got a little pond. There's woods around. It, you can't see any other mm -hmm. holes, so you feel like you're out. Yeah, there. it's very secluded. Yeah, I feel like it's a really good hole to showcase the beauty of the course. And you get you roll up to it, and you've got trees. I mean, little bushes that are probably like five, six feet tall. I'm not exaggerating. They're probably as tall as us. And uh, yeah. you can't even <laughs> see the green. I mean, like, that's, you're, show the water. Show the bunkers. Like, show it. So then you got And when they trim it cut. down, it looks great. Hole oh, 11 yeah. looks okay. beautiful when they trim it. All that crap right there. Yeah. But when they don't trim it like it was this past weekend, it looks just like a untaken care of course. Yep. A, like a goat track. Even uh, you could not set up on the right side of the tee box on 11 because oh, if no. you set up on the right side, you're hitting the tree that's probably 30 yards in front of you because they haven't cut the shrubs down. Yeah. You can't even see the water. I think part of that part three would make it so beautiful is that you see that water on the right. You're like, okay, I see water to the right of the green. 
But if you hit it in the air, you don't even know if your ball lands on the green, rolls off, you don't know if it lands in the water. They need to take care of all that. And hole seven, like Jeremy said, the tee box wasn't even cut at the tips. Oh, no, That's right. Play. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Uh, but even and the crazy, cut, like they have the team out there. At yeah, least I, I would, I would think once a day. Yeah, playing at least nine holes. Well, they just, they just we're not the back, only ones so playing from the tips. Yeah, you know, during the summer the team's not playing there, so I wonder if they just don't work. Because like hole nine, that tee box across the street, it's not there anymore. So I wonder if when yeah. the team's gone, they quit take care of it but even hole seven if the tee box would have been cut i don't think we could have played it because that tree you are you have to hit a draw off of oh it. it hangs down so much yeah, yeah. But it's done growing out so much now that like you've got to hit it way out there to the right and hope it hooks around like it's not even the, usually you go to that hole and like okay let me hit it dead straight and i'll be fine or a little baby draw you you've got to hit a major hook now because that thing's so outgrown but, uh, the only other sure get complaint that I saw was, um, like, other than that, you know, in between the fairways mm-hmm. on 12 and 14, like, that's getting a little out of hand. Um, oh, you know, yeah. Jeremy drew one over in there, and, um, I mean, it's just gone. Like, there's just Couldn't nothing you can do about it because of how tall that grass is. And then um, on 13, the bunkers, the bunker situation was bad. Like, it was... Uh, I don't know. You said something funny about it, Casey, when we walked up to it, but I don't remember. It, it looked like uh, oh, they don't, I that said part they don't of the beach that go. they have, like, roped off where there's just, yeah. like, sagebrush growing. Hole, hole 13, both bunkers on the left side, the front, and the right side, it's like they just gave up on even trying to pull these weeds out. I'm like, yeah. golly. I mean, come on. Get out there and just get get a little tool and start pulling them out. Dude. Make it look a little better. Go in there with some Roundup. There's ground up. Do something. It was bad. Like but, I know between... Yeah, on a on a good note though, like the greens were not not too many blemishes going on, but um I mean most of every putt that we had was very true. Like there was no bumps oh, and yeah. uh not a lot of trash in the way and stuff like there has been. I'll say too, hole thirteen is uh usually historically very wet when it rains and disgusting, mm-hmm. but for it to have that much rain the night before, and we came out there the next morning, we had a pretty early tea time, so it didn't really have time to dry out. Um, That's right. Hole 13 was not soaked, soaking wet. It wasn't like all wet and mushy like it always is. So I think she's done a lot of work on that. So she's doing a great job. I would cut the stuff between uh, 12 and 14, like you said, just because I feel like that's part of that course. You hit it in a different fairway trying to get it back. Um, yeah. I kind of feel that way about 15 and 16 too, but then again, I kind of like that. It kind of makes 15 and 16 feel link stylish. You leave it yeah. something like that. It used um, to be a swing away hole, 15 and 16. Yeah, but if you hit it and left, then, you're in that tall stuff. It's like knee high. Mm-hmm. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I'm sure, and I'm, I'm sure in the next couple of weeks it's going to get tightened up a little bit because points about to start playing out there again. I don't so, know. <laughs> <laughs> they may took the summer to kind of try to let some stuff grow up, and now they're about to get it back taken care of. They better hurry because Pines Crossing opens up this fall. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rematch. Well, the thing um, is, like, start a new street. Oh, <laughs> no, it's still the same street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's a new This is a different course. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess technically it'll be zero to zero. There's going to yeah. be nothing, nothing the same out there. But for point, like... I think I'm going to join out there. Uh, Pine? Yeah. What's that point, Zach? I'll say at point, like, it's a nice course for where it's at to be in Lynette, Alabama. Uh-huh. And I know it's slam-packed every weekend. I almost feel like the university siphons off money from it instead of putting it back into the course. Oh, it's it's like a road. fundraiser, kind of like... Alabama and Auburn, like the big programs, football pays for all the other sports. Mm-hmm. I think, and that, I mean, this is just speculation. I don't know what their books yeah, are. Make sure you say speculation because as journalists, this, we have to use that word is, so we don't get in pure trouble. Pure speculation, but I feel like all the money that comes in just goes to the university, and then they have a set budget for it, no matter how much it's yeah. played. Yeah, and this year, like Brady said earlier, with Indian Pines closing, it's being played to death. <laughs> And the budget oh, yeah. hasn't changed. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. they're still stuck at four or five 
people to work and then that's it that's what it looks like to me is they they have to be understaffed even like with the more demand of players out there like they're, they're still not getting the amount of attention that the course needs um I had a positive though was when we went to get our carts at, at the turn i went to go get us like some pyrate every cart was gone so it was completely packed out there that day but not once did we have to slow down and wait on anybody or anybody was on our tail at all the whole day yeah place of play that was there. nice and we were filming too so you know how it is stressful if you see somebody behind you but uh, mm -hmm. Not a single time did we catch somebody and have to wait on a tee box, or did somebody catch us and have to wait on and us? It, yeah, and even on the back nine, there was a, when we started down 12, there was a twosome that got up on the tee box, and I guess they had skipped through, maybe, because they weren't originally there when we started. And um, I, I I told everybody, I was like, heads up, there's a twosome behind us, and like they just, I don't know where, they just fell in behind us and never caught up yeah. to us. They, they were just back there kind of hanging out the whole time. So it was nice. It was a. Other than the outcome of the video, it was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I told. Uh, there was a couple times towards the uh, the end. I said, Jeremy, this is the only time we're ever going to get to play together. So either we make it as like <clears throat> we're going to have to do it. But, yeah. <laughs> it just just go all out because that's <laughs> all we can do. <laughs> um, so we got that video will be coming out. Uh, and then I'm excited. The boys, we all huddled up. We got rid of the cannon, the camera we were using. We've had it for a year. We, the first time we ever used it was uh, Red Beards and Back Nine Bandits at Trails of Frisco Lakes. I still remember that mm -hmm. day. That was such a fun day to film. But uh, how, did, how did that round end? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> it came down to hole 18. Yeah, let's not, let's not we're, talk about We're it. about 100 and, I don't know, maybe, we well, may not even have been 100 yards out. My partner looks at me and says, I got this, man. This, this my is my shot. This is my number right here. And uh, if you, it it end, it ended with my wedge going uh, grip deep in the mud. And uh, yeah. yeah, you don't have to you don't have to say any excuses. <laughs> um, no, I I didn't. I just said no, no, because I threw my wedge in the mud. That's why it went like that. I threw I, my I threw my wedge in the mud. I just remember my partner telling me this is my number, and uh, that's what happened after yeah, that. You know, <laughs> I'm not. I don't want stuff. Happens. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, but anyways, actually, I may have something for. The We're coming back real quick, huh? Hold on, I've got something for the viewers real quick. Oh, I said we coming this. back. Y'all watch this, boys. Your boy's doing something right now. Can y'all see my What's screen? The... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, boys. Uh, well, can tell me if y'all can hear this. Can you hear the audio? This is it. Yeah. This is what we... Okay, everybody watching. This is the moment. I don't care who we play in, what, where they're from. Okay, there's me and Mitch in the back. There's me and Mitch in the back. This is Mitch. Okay, what? This is Mitch telling me this is his number. Okay. I, we're definitely inside 100 yards, I'm pretty sure. At this point, it all comes down to this hole. Like he hit a singer instead. Let's watch what happens. This is right after, right after he just got done saying, this is my whole, my number, Casey. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all see that ball way to the right of the screen? I don't know why he'd go a stinger at that distance, but he did but it. Your, your boy stepped up, but I just couldn't do enough. Uh, and then let me fast forward to the... The boys doing what they do. Notice how I zoomed on his ball, but he didn't zoom on my ball. <laughs> oh, here's them closing us out. Oh, hey, we should do a we should do a pod like this where we review a video. We know who carries that day. Nobody right now knows how much this putt matters right now. Nobody on this course knows. Except everybody on the screen, you watching, you're about to see miracles. I should have never said that. I jinxed myself. It, it came down to this putt, right? It did. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know why in the world I'm putting first. No one Mitchell should have gave me a read. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo! You got to do better than the read, man. On a I know that. He didn't. He didn't. Oh, that's course maintenance. Y'all see that thing jump? Ooh. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, look at the intimidator, Dale Earnhardt, with his glasses. <laughs> if you're an audio listener, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. It came down to this putt. Y'all had to make it. Uh, the two footer. We got to step it off and see. This is but big time. If you want to see the rest of that video, go watch it. I'm not going to ruin it for you. Some, some really <laughs> awesome looking holes out there in Texas. Dude, yeah, that's so much fun. Uh, Frisco yeah, is going to be the new location stuff. for BSG. Got yeah, to. I think Frisco is about to take over the golf world because everybody's building their headquarters out there now. Got if any, even if we don't move out there, that's where we need to. Just every year we take our trip after we go explore new courses, we just head to Texas every year. Yeah. Um, but anyways, what we we're saying was that's the first time we used that camera, but we upgraded. We're trying to get the game a little better. We're trying to get the footage a little better. So uh, next weekend we head to South Carolina. We'll have the new camera in hand. I sent all the stuff with Jeremy today, Brady. So Casey will have it, be able oh. to figure it out before next week. I got you. Okay. I need to I make not sure. I want to test it day one on the course. It'd be like Mitch when oh, we gosh. played at Bull Creek. And he just <laughs> off the driver. I said, <laughs> okay, it's going to be a long day. Let me get the three wood ready. Hopefully, our uh, thumbnail game steps up a little bit now that we got a camera that takes quality pictures too. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and it does. I I took a bunch of samples with it, which they're on that card. I was so you uh, just delete them, but this is a little insight to our listeners on the business side of stuff. But I was planning, thinking of some things that how we need to get better as a group, and thumbnails was number one well, in the top three on my list for mm -hmm. our videos. A lot of times we go out there and we just we we film the golf, we leave and we say, "Crap, how do we make a thumbnail now?" But we need to start being intentional. Maybe get the thumbnail before we even start the golf. Yeah, uh, um, Mitchell Smallwood told me that uh, you know Ao and all them that he films with. He said that they'll spend they'll spend like thirty minutes getting a thumbnail, like oh, just standing it. there trying to find yeah to find the the right <laughs> thumbnail. That day I was in West Point putting the vinyl up, and they were doing that overnight challenge like back behind me, uh, yeah. that's what they were, they were taking the thumbnail picture because they would take a picture, they'd all look at it, and then they'd go back to like posing again, take another picture, look at it, go back to posing again. Uh, that's something. Now we will just to click. Yeah, that's something we got to, instead of just these little photos of all four of us lining up across like that, we need to get some <laughs> good good uh, good photos for thumbnails instead of us just standing there we like this with our arms around that. each other. Yeah, you know, the ones where you're like, like like that. Oh, we need some. Click baby ones. Yeah, we need some of that. Or the ones like Bus Jack where he's just, he's holding his pose, looking off into the distance. Mm hmm Thumbnail game has to step up, boys. That's where we're slack where we're lacking. Hey, I, we we under under promise and over deliver. That that's yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> and we're only uh was is this year this is year two of the brand or year right? This two. Year two. Yeah. We're coming up on the yeah. end of year two. So we're still trying to figure things out. We're trying to get in the rhythm. Once we get uh, this new camera dialed in and we kind of get a plan, I've, I've been thinking of some things today when I was brainstorming how we can make filming on the course a little easier for everybody and setting up and tearing down. Like, so we'll go that way. We have our meeting at San Marcos coming up, Brady. That good stuff. <laughs> the uh, best. I'm bringing Marley's <laughs> done been there three times. She been eating the cheese dip? Y'all been putting a little bit on a, on the finger and giving no, it to her? No, she gets the whole shrimp. I pull her shrimp out of that quesadilla and... You so dumb. You don't give her no shrimp. I give her the tail. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, but uh, speaking of uh, seafood, my dad saw one of our uh, podcast guests in person today. In person, what was he doing That's... down there? <laughs> They're just at the beach, and my mom texts me. And she was like, "What's the name of that guy y'all had on your channel from the uh, Golf Plus store?" And I told him, I said, "Alan Watson this is the the guy that owns it." And then my dad sent me that picture. I was like, well, <laughs> That's there he so is. Funny. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, it, it's just funny because like how he just took that picture of Alan. Like, and I text Brady and I said, or I, in the group I said, um, Jody probably said, hey, Alan, come here. Let me get a photo of you. <laughs> <laughs> just, a, just a still picture. Um, Let me take a picture real quick, please. Yeah. And Alan's just standing there. Let me see. Oh, I got it right here, boys. <laughs> Let's see if I can share my screen. Oh, it's a it's it's pretty solid. Oh no, I can't show all that. I'm it's... sure he talked to him for a while too, because um, I, I I don't know if he bought anything, but he just went by there. Yeah, he texted me later and said he said that Alan was planning to 
moved from Dothan to Panama City now, so he's going to be down in the Panama City area for good. That's where I wouldn't go. Here we go, yeah. boys. There's Alan right there. Y'all see him? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Is, my dad just sent me this picture. LOL. Hey, Alan, stand still for me, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good picture, though. I'm surprised he got it. Like, what do you, you know? What, what do you think right he really? Center? What do you think he really told Alan right there? Like, why? Why is this man he just met taking a picture? I hope you think he, he said, said something like, "My son interviewed y'all on a podcast or something." <laughs> what if? What if he had no clue that Brady, that his son's in BSG? Just, yeah. Now he's like, who? who are you talking about you? Yeah. Yeah. Who is BSG? <laughs> <laughs> but uh no, that's neat. He got to go down there. Oh. He's back. AirPods in. Mitchell, ain't while you were real Wi Fi. While you were off, we were uh we were going around the room talking about odds and so we we're actually talking about yours. We said hundred and thirty yard par threes coming up. Uh, the odds one out of ten that Mitchell hits the green, uh, and then we try to guess what club you're using. What club you think we said, and then what do you think the odds were? Yeah, one out of ten. Ten being you're going to hit it. One's like you chunked it and it went nowhere. Okay. We're going to reveal our odds. All right, everybody, hold up your hold up your everybody, hold up your numbers. One, two, three, <laughs> six. Look at Zach saying a three out of ten. Oh, no. I've seen Mitchell play. <laughs> okay, now let's, it depends. Let's keep... Is it start of the so it depends start of the day or end of the day? I think it's start of the day. He ain't angry. He ain't burned <laughs> through that first. As I say, he's better at the start of the day because when he starts throwing clubs and getting mad, it's over. That's yeah. Like uh, Texas when we had to punch that man in the arm. Oh. All right, let's go. Uh, now let's go to Zach. It's a par three. This time you're 163 yards out. Uh, don't matter what club you're using. Is that your number? Oh, no. Is that it's what you think, too? I saw All this right. man huh? stick one from 198 yards the other day. Everybody on the count of three. One, two, three. I'm getting 50. I'm getting 50%. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Long. We're all right there. Dang, that's got 160. Yeah, let's. All right, for Brady, I'd probably swing a seven. Uh huh. To play it uh, long. That's a good club for you, though. Seven. Yeah. I feel. I feel. If you put a seven in your hand, I feel good about it. All right, Brady steps up to a par three. This is a tricky one. It's only 107 yards out. Uh, what's the odds he hits the green here? Like now that. listen. Here's the downside, though. 107 yards is not enough time for that big draw he hits for it to come around. So he may Whoa, miss the green right. I don't right. do that with the wedges. <laughs> I don't do that with the wedges. All right. <laughs> what would you say, Brady? What's your number? 107 yards? What's your percentage? Gosh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say like 70%. Sub. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say 70%. Yeah, I'm going to throw up an eight. A... I'm going to throw up an eight. Oh, What dang. you should have done is like that 191 at Stillwater's where you oh, got gosh. so mad when I said, <laughs> yeah. when I said the distance. And he smoked his forearm. He said, "You check that." <laughs> yeah, I, to, I don't hit mine that far. Yeah, <laughs> he was what, so mad he cleared the green. <laughs> what number do you think uh, for par three takes you from being five and higher your chances to hit it to five and lower? At what number do you think? Okay, I just went to a four instead of a six. One seven what, yardage. Yardage. One seventy. Yeah. One seventy five. Once it clears that, I'm like, oh, yeah. Play it to yeah. the left side in case I don't close the face. <laughs> I'm gonna say like one, one fifty five and below. I'm putting me five and higher. One fifty five and up. I'm going down to the four three two one. Yeah, <laughs> I, like I may that. not hit the green. The greatest shot of Mitchell's life was hole one at point. He's in that left bunker. In the bunker, took a three wood and got up somehow. I don't know. Never seen him do it again oh. in my life. Never seen him hit a ball like that again in my life. Uh, but that was a great shot. I was like, <laughs> I don't seen know. That if it...
Dang. Um, here's I another. I ain't seen a picture. Here's another. <laughs> Here, here's another he, game. He was working at Verizon. You can't tell me you have no phone for a picture. Here's another game for the pot. From this from this moment, everybody pick months out or or weeks until Mitchell has something new or changed in his golf bag. How long do you think? I'm going to go three one, days, one and a half month. I don't. He just redid his whole bag though, so I don't. Oh I, yeah. No, I don't know. Callaway no, no. launched a new driver set today, so did y'all hear him? He's, he's probably say, itching for that. He Callaway said there's nothing. Plus. He said there's nothing he needs. Mitchell, there's never anything you need. You just be swapping clubs to be swapping clubs. I was about to say the first thing that he's going to get rid of is either the driver or that Scotty. <laughs> That's true. He uh, that round at Callaway. Oh no, RTJ. That's what I'm saying. Got, Nobody loves the Scotty. They just love the way they look. <laughs> um, all right. Well, he's the chicken. The man's, if you're just an audio listener, uh, a couple episodes back, Mitchell was in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> he's doing it again. So that's what the noise is. He is uh, cooking. Oh, he muted. He, uh, this is a segment <laughs> we like to call cooking with Mitch. So he'll show us his, his <laughs> he'll show us his meal in a minute. But while he prepares the chicken for Bethany and himself, uh, let's get into this week's golf. Last week was very interesting. Uh, pot roast, love it. Uh, we had a playoff. Um, I saw where some people on Instagram saying it was a very bad look for Link Soul Golf that they're a guy that they sponsor won, but his booty was saturated with booty sweat coming through the pants. Ooh, it was Ooh. so wet. Is that a bad look for that brand? Gotta be. It has to be. They said he's wearing the old cotton corduroy. <laughs> yeah, you can't get that on Sunday there. at church. Yeah, I'd say. Granted, <laughs> I it was wear gray. He what was he wearing? Was he wearing gray? Or was it khaki? I thought it was a light khaki. It was, it was a light khaki. I'm wearing navy or black or white. Um, the granted, they're in Texas, so with the humidity, it felt like I think 111 is what they said. Um. But yeah, bad look. And I hate now he could could care less because he just won millions of dollars. But um great tournament. Loved it. Loved seeing the end of it. And it continues this week. We're going to the BMW championship all the way in Illinois. Uh last week we had Patrick Cantlay win it, 14 under. Um let's get into it this week, boys. This is presented I got my to you. Pick ready. Oh, all right, hold on to it. This, oh, we know who yours is. This is presented to you by Primo Golf Apparel. Use promo code BSG15 for 15% off. You can get you a uh, some joggers. The shorts, I absolutely love the shorts. I have one pair. I wish I had 10. I wear them all the time. Um, I've got my maroon. You wash them? Yes, all the time. Oh, okay, okay. Maroon uh, joggers that I still have to tag on them that I'm waiting for North Carolina to wear them so I can whoop Brady in them. Uh, but use promo code BSG15 for 15% off. We're going to start with Zachary Nolan Clay the third. Who's your pick? Keegan Bradley. Almost picked him. Almost. Keegan, I think he's got it. He's played hot recently. Srixon guy. The he won it. been performing on tour. He won it back in 2018 as well, this tournament. Um, so, good pick. He's an aim point guy. I saw you using aim point recently. Pretending to, I guess. It worked when we play at uh, shoot. Where do we play, Brady? Bull Creek. <laughs> when did you? Yeah, when we played at Bull it? Creek, it worked for me. He claims that no one will be lining the ball, reading putts in the next couple of years. So, all right, over to uh, Chef Mitchell. What you got? Jordan Speed coming. Oh, off he changed of, it up. Yeah. Um. Spieth came off a pretty good week this past. I think he was like top 10. I think he was eighth, actually. I don't, don't quote me to that. That's me speculating. Um, yeah, because it was hot in Texas. Jordan Spieth, that's a good pick. We got King Bradley, Jordan Spieth, Brady. Give me Jackery, the pros, Edmondson, pro who you got? of the pros right now, Max Homer. Wow. <laughs> He's going to break through, do it big time right here. You think so? I hope so. <laughs> I think Max Homa is perfectly – he's the kind of guy that's perfectly fine with uh, 
with um I thought on my screen there's something about my light switch with not winning. He just wants to win money. Who was it? There was a stat rec- this week they put out. There's a player right now. I have to find it on Instagram. Uh, it may have been Tommy Fleetwood. He's the the most person without wins that's made the most money over like the last nine years or something. That's oh, a wild yeah, stat. Be. Yeah. Let me make do my pick. Do you want the money or do you want to win? Let me make my pick and we're going to talk about that. I'm going Tyrell Hatton. Give me the uh, okay, English. That's trash. You're done. Okay, moving on. Casey's <laughs> pick. Is, is it worth a Duncan? Is this a Duncan week? Who, who'd you pick, Keegan? Oh, lock it in, boys. There we go. That's all I needed. Lock Baby, it in. We getting Duncan stuff. We can <laughs> lock it in. Love Duncan. Um, okay, she so loves now I'm betting on him. Back to the Tommy Fleetwood stat. How would you, what would you, would you even care if that was your stat? I'm looking up his career earnings. Right no, now. I wouldn't. I'd be, you would just, you'd be fine with the I'd money. Just take the top tens. And it doesn't seem like it bothers him very much. Boy, it's a lot of money. What's his, what's his career earning? It has surpassed $20 million. <sighs> Gosh. Let me just play golf for free and earn 20. I don't care if I ever win. That's what I was going to say. Think about, he, he's never won. But everywhere he goes, he gets to play golf for free. He gets to travel the world, play at the best golf courses, free golf gear, free golf clothes, 20 million bucks. I would trade that for not winning anything. How Absolutely. much of that $20 million, how much would you give up to have a major? <laughs> half of it? Half. Half. Really? Yeah. One major, especially if I'm getting it put on. So you give up you give up half of your earnings for a major, which the major guarantees your name in history. Uh, you pretty much play golf for the rest of your life with being exempt because you get to go to most of those tournaments. Half of it, you would do half, yeah, because there's no different lifestyle wise. Ten to twenty, no difference. Yeah, I agree with that. Give me, uh, I'm not giving up anything. A lot. I don't need it. I'm living like my family's living good. I don't need a major. I don't need to be in the record books. My name don't need to be on a trophy. I'll go out to the oh, local. It's going to be on a trophy. It's going to be <laughs> guy to play the most events and never win. I'll go to the local <laughs> muni and take money off people because I'm that good. But I'm not. I don't need a major. What about y'all other two? Y'all giving up money for a major? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll keep. I'll keep the 20 mil in the pocket. Give me a green jacket for 10. It's like a Matt Kuchar type, yes, which is. he's had wins, though. So I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. He got all that money and couldn't find a good coach. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brady, would you rather have a PGA Tour win or you and Bailey get to meet Taylor Swift backstage? No, no, this is Brady's decision. <laughs> Up to me. Oh gosh, what, where where is the tournament at? Uh, the in Atlanta East Lake. It's the Tour Championship. East Lake. <laughs> the Tour so Championship. The, the now listen, ball. listen, oh, God. <laughs> listen. You're lifting the trophy up on Sunday, or like, or you're backstage getting to hang out with Taylor before she performs for for the so, weekend. You get to hang out with her for the weekend. Yeah, for the weekend. For the weekend. Okay, so a two two days back or a two day yeah with Taylor whatever with yeah and then or a twelve million dollar purse. No, 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 no. Money's money don't matter. It's just you. You want a PJ Tour? This is event. just a trophy. This is just a trophy. Your, your <laughs> name is trophy? and and they say and Brady Edmondson has done the unthinkable. <laughs> He's drained the putt on eighteen to be our twenty twenty three Tour Championship winner, and everybody's going wild. A you, wire to wire win. Or wow. you can, or you can drink coffee and sit in a green room, and I don't and know. She's what. not going to talk to you pre-show. You're just, you're just hanging out. <laughs> That's important. Yeah, she don't talk to people before the show. She said that for her voice. What are you doing? This is this is tough. This is tough. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I don't know. I'm gonna have to really. We need an answer. answer. I, I, I <laughs> we mean, need an answer. Wait, wait! Don't answer I yet. Assume... Here. Hold on. What is it? Dude, I don't know, man. No. 
And this is this uh, is the drop zone question of the week right here. Where, Would you rather win a PJ Tour yeah. event or hang out with Taylor Swift? Where is let me let me dive a little deeper into this. Uh, you've got you've got 14 seconds to think about your answer well, while this plays. That one's gonna be wet. Welcome to the drop zone. Where okay, is, ladies and uh, gentlemen, welcome to the drop zone. This week's <laughs> this week's question is: Would you rather win a PJ Tour event or spend the weekend you and yourself, you and your spouse, if you're married, with Taylor Swift? Brady's gonna answer first. And wait before he answers. You answer this and tag three friends and share it. You can win a bottle of Warlord Beard Oil to your house. Yes, this wow. is presented by Warlord Beard Oil. You can use BSG fifteen for fifteen percent off, but. You answer this question, you tag three friends, and uh, we're going to randomly pick one, and then a free bottle of beer oil is coming Friday. to we'll, you. We'll do the draw on Friday. Yep. Um, and then announce a winner. Now, Brady, here's the last, <laughs> this is your last few seconds to answer this question. This is, getting, this is getting clipped. This is getting posted. Your comment, your answer is going to go in the comments, so Bailey will see this, but don't let that be a deciding factor. Do you want to be a PGA no, Tour could. winner? You know, she, I do a lot of selfish things in my life, so I'm probably no. going to take the high road and take my wife, and we'll hang out with Taylor Swift. Oh, no. Oh, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Dude, she's already seen Taylor Swift live. What else is there to do? <laughs> going again no, as there's, well. there's always closer. Yep. She's going again? If, yep, going again. You should have been a PGA Tour jo- winner. No. In Brady's defense, if Joni was a Swifty, I would do the same thing. (laughs) Over the PGA Tour? Yeah. Because if I have it good enough to win the Tour Championship, I'm out there every weekend winning anyway. No, no, this was a a sponsor exemption, and you just play it out of your mind (laughs) for a weekend. You're never playing playing on tour again. I'm Michael Block. Yeah, never (laughs) playing on tour. One weekend, Sean. This is your only chance. Think about it. You're never going to play on tour again. This is your one time. And you just play it out of your mind. I'm, Katie, if you, I don't even know if Katie likes Taylor Swift, but girl, you, you can watch me lift up my trophy on the 18th green at East Lake. And uh, she like Lady Gaga. Oh, she did like Gaga. She was her for Halloween one year. So, look at that man, how he just squishes that garlic like that. He's a pro. So is there everybody, every, y'all are both going to Taylor Swift? I said, if she was, now she ain't, so we winning. <laughs> All right, well, I guess Brady we did the right winning. thing. I guess Brady did the right thing to be live on, I mean, not live, but to be going on YouTube. But Brady, text us personally and let us know what your real answer is. <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell, what are you picking? Well, that's three, three of us are selfish and uh, one of us is not. <laughs> but that's okay with me. You gotta let me spread my wings. I did ask if I could play. Look, I, speaking of stuff, I did ask if I could play this weekend. And I heard my answer was, "Do whatever you want. You don't need. You don't need to play." <laughs> Dumb book two t times. Oh, did you? No. Oh, I was about to say you do not need to play. <laughs> no, especially with us going next Friday. Yeah. Yep. Well, and I got a lesson tomorrow, so I'm. I'll be ready. Good episode, boys. Thanks for watching. Chef Mitchell's making everybody some pot roast at 8, 17, his time, at night. Make sure you don't forget to uh, to enter the competition for the Warlord Beard Oil. Uh, let us know if you'd rather lift and, a trophy. Enter your answer. And tag three friends. Tag three friends and share it. Yep. And uh, tag Taylor Swift. Let's spam Taylor Swift with all the comments. Let's get Brady and Bailey backstage. Hey, that that would be preferred if that could happen. Brady, are you growing your mustache out longer? Am I just now. seeing stuff? I know what that now? mustache does. Look are you growing your mustache out a little longer? Am I seeing stuff? Yeah, yeah, I am. I got uh some mustache wax ordered from Whoa. for my guys. Gun, Is that some start. Tyler Childers? Tyler Childers stuff right there? No, that you got the Tyler Childers the oh. Real He's quick, Oliver Anthony. That's He's what I was going to ask. I was going to ask: Are you an Oliver Anthony fan? Now that you've seen him all over TikTok, um, so I, that's yeah, your I kind of music. About that, well, I talked to Christian about that this morning, and like, I didn't. I don't know. It it it's just something like there's so many other I've been songs working I don't all like day. That. Yeah, my dollars taxed you know, to no so, end. 
it's it's a good song, but there it you is. know, I'm not there it is. I'm not that hard for him. So Mitchell's growing his hair out. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the guys. Yeah. Did you listen to? That's it for the pod, yeah, I, ladies and gentlemen. I, he wouldn't be. Thanks for watching. Uh we can get out of here. That was a good hour episode for y'all. Y'all should enjoy that one. We'll be back the next week with episode 68, all the way to road to 100. And we get to 100, we're giving away a driver. I can feel it. I felt we, you know, we need to talk to Moon Golf. I'm feeling a set of wedges, a driver, or Some, something. a putter, something. Mitchell, you something do to big. get rid of one. <laughs> Hey, we'll be oh, at your we house live. Guest. We got a big guest next week. We got, we can't. We got big yeah. Guests. Oh yeah, we got professionals. Oh, yeah, no cooking next week. Hey, yeah. So that's it, boys. Y'all need to check out next week's episode. We got a good guest coming on. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all for the next one. See ya. Like, subscribe, follow.